brought some new things to a community that maybe they hadn't seen before. In the rolling hills of Holmes County, Ohio, all you have to do is say the name Perry Reese. He could make you feel like the most important person in the world. And nearly everyone has something to say. It was hard not to like him. It was very hard to not like him. I wanted to be a teacher and a coach because of him. Um, it's just that simple. I wanted to be like him. Reese, a black Catholic man from Canton, came to the predominantly white Amish and Mennonite area in the early 1980s as an assistant basketball coach. A town that was, to say the least, unsure of his presence there. At these times, people aren't used to different cultures. Here's a black Catholic and Mennonite, and if you know anything about that, that wasn't going too good. Some of the big boosters were, were not happy with, with hiring him. And as a young kid, I knew that there was there was tension. People would drive by his house and yell slurs. Reese never gave in and fought to break down the barriers with compassion. People weren't kind and that stuff was happening, but he just never dwelt on any of that. He says, sometimes you just got to eat some crow. It's like sometimes the things that are happening to you, you don't just allow it to take over. It was almost like he was showing us they don't know better, you know. Um, let me teach you by my actions. He became the head boys basketball coach in 1985, and as they started winning games on the court, he started winning the community over right along with it. As they continued to win and win, you know, that, that changes people's thoughts process right away. It was sellout crowds only, people sneaking in the back door, you know, waiting in line to get a ticket. Coach Reese and the Highland Hawks boys basketball team won 49 of their first 53 games, including a trip to the state semifinals. In his 16 years at Highland, they made five trips to the Final Four, including a state championship in 1992. But regardless of all the accolades and everything he accomplished on the court, it was his impact outside of the gym that is still felt down here in Holmes County to this day. Harry made it so much e easier for us, like opening up our community's um, vision to, it's about people, it's not about your skin color. A coach to the lucky few, a history teacher to more, a father figure to many, friend to everyone he met. Perry Reese changed the school and town so much that we teach our kids about him. We try to talk about him in, in school. Now, even 20 years after a brain tumor stole him away, the larger-than-life man has left a folklore-like legend. One of his players has him tattooed on his arm. There's been a lot of families who have adopted African-American children in our community. Yeah, my son, his name's Brady Reese. And the area that was so unsure of his arrival. He changed our community for the better, you know, and that doesn't, that doesn't happen but once in a lifetime. There will never be another Perry. In Holmes County, Will Uick, 3 News.